Hi students, I am Aruna, lecturer in Sir Sir College for Women Hellur. Today we are going to discuss about uh, JavaScript. This is in Unit 3. In our previous units, we learn about uh, HTML tags like uh, frames, forms, images, hyperlinks, multimedia objects, and different cascading style sheets. On this unit, we are going to learn about how we use a script tag for designing a web page. These are the topics in JavaScript. What is DHTML? JavaScript basics, variables, string manipulations, mathematical functions, statements, operators, arrays and functions. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a client-side dynamic programming language. A client-side dynamic web page processes the web page using HTML scripting running in a browser as it loads. By using this JavaScript, we can create dynamic web page. What is a dynamic web page? A page is a web page that displays different contents each time it's viewed. For example, a page may change with the time of the day. This is a dynamic web page. JavaScript is an interpreted programming language with uh, object oriented capabilities. That means each and everything in Java is represented with objects and classes. JavaScript is also known as LiveScript. Here we call it as scripts. The programs in JavaScript are called as scripts. They can be written in HTML and execute automatically as the page loads. How we execute this program? Similarly, how we execute HTML code like that only. We will write all the code in HTML tags and save it as .html execute in a browser. JavaScript can execute in a browser or on a server or any device where a special program called Java script engine exists. This engine sometimes called as JVMs, JavaScript Virtual Mission. JavaScript allows us to do related web page manipulations, interact with the user and the web server. Where this JavaScript is used? This JavaScript is mainly used for creating interactive websites. It provides Client-side validation. What is meant by client-side validation? All the user's input validates in the user's browsers itself. This is called client-side validations. Dynamic drop-down menus. This drop-down list is an excellent way to give the user an option to select from a predefined list. If we want to select a list of values this is mainly used in Excel sheets. It displays uh, data and time. Displaying pop-up windows and dialog boxes like alert boxes, confirmation dialog boxes and prompt dialog boxes. It displays clocks. We can modify the styles of a HTML page, the existing uh, content can be changed. React to the user actions, run on mouse click pointer moments, key presses. By pressing keys or else uh, mouse pointer, mouse pointer locations. We can 
write the code get and set cookies ask questions to the visitor show message as i said that it displays pop up windows in that we can display some messages that can be viewed by the user it remembers the data on the client side that means local storage what are the benefits that are used by using this java script by using java script we can develop dynamic websites it is supported in browsers it give access to the document object and can uh, manipulate most of them we design them with a dom and can be manipulated javascript can give interesting animations with many multimedia data types special plugins are not required to use javascript it doesn't require any type of uh, software for running this javascript javascript is a secure language it is similar to c language but the syntaxes are very close to each other what is dynamic html dhtml stands for dynamic hypertext markup language it is a web standard and it is not a language it is a combination of web development technologies used to create dynamic changing websites for changing web pages we use this dhtml web pages may include animations dynamic menus and text effects as we said that dhtml is a combination of web development technologies used for creating dynamic changes in websites for that we use different uh, scripting languages like html javascript vb script cascading style sheets and dom designed to enhance a web user experience dhtml includes the following features dynamic content allows the user to dynamically change the web page contents contents of a web page can be changed dynamically it allows the positioning of web elements it also allows the user to change the color of a web page font size or content these dynamic uh, web pages include roll over buttons or drop down menus documents like uh, animation text and images are also accessed in how many ways we can insert javascript code this script tag is included in three ways one is in head section and the other one in body section and the last one is in as external file which is included in head section for implementing these java statements we have to write the code in script tag script tag alerts the browser programmer to start interpreting all the text between these script tags script tag has two attributes one is language and the other one is type script language equals to javascript type equals to text or javascript code close script tag these are the two attributes that are used in script tag language attribute specifies what scripting language are using here we are using javascript that's why language equals to javascript and the type attribute specifies the type of media
script in head section. If you want to have a script run on some event such as when a user clicks somewhere, then you can place the script in head section. For that, see the syntax. HTML head script has uh, two attributes. One is language and the other one is type attribute. Script type equals to text or JavaScript. Enclose the code in this script type. Close head section. Body content. Finally, close HTML. Sample program for this. Here I have enclosed this script tag in head section. See here html head script tag is enclosed with a function function say hello in that function an alert message that is hello world when i click here for the result then hello world will appears in this program code that is written here in head section script tag that is written in head section here on clicking that a function is invoked called say hello say hello function has a message alert message that is hello world so it displays hello world similarly we can include this script tag in body section JavaScript in body section. If you need a script to run as the page loads so that the script generates the content in a page, then you can place the script in body section. See the syntax HTML head close head body script tag contents. Example for this. In the head section, I have placed a click event here. Directly when a page loads, the script tag will be loaded. Body script type equals to text JavaScript document dot write hello world. This is the web page body. The output of this program will be hello world. JavaScript in external file. Scripts can also be placed in external files. These external files can be saved with an extension of JS. Why we are using these external files? By placing script in external file have some advantages. It separates HTML and code. It makes HTML and JavaScript easier to read and maintain. Cache JavaScript files can be speed up the page loads. External scripts are practical when the same code is used in many different web pages. So for making a JavaScript as external file, you need to write all your JavaScript source code in a simple text file with an extension js and then put the name of the script file in source attribute of a script tag you can place this external script reference in head or body section let's see the example here our external file is my script dot js if you observe the script tag i have taken source equals to from where I am getting this uh, JavaScript file, my script. So source equals to my script dot js. Here I included the script tag in head section. This is about uh, JavaScript with three ways. Script tag can be included in head section, body section and as external files. Assessment JavaScripts can be used to create uh, dash pages, static pages, dynamic pages, both the static and 
dynamic pages none of the above javascript allows dash validation server side validation or client side validation which accepts both client and server validations none of the above dhtml uses javascript css dom all of the above i say in mind a simple program using script tag any queries if you have any queries please keep a message for me or else call me thank you